It is a bit frustrating when you get the balance spot built and it doesn't balance. So how do you get the balance spot to balance? Here are some calibration tips and options to get you balancing until a wheel falls off or the battery dies. And I'll let you know which method helped me break the record with a time of 32 minutes and 35 seconds. But if yours doesn't even look like it's trying to balance, there might be a bigger issue and we'll touch on a few common problems and their fixes at the end. First, let's calibrate the bot. By default, calibration is set to false in the code. Go to level two or three and switch it to true. You know it's calibrating when you turn the bot on and it stays pink for 10 seconds. While it's calibrating, anchor the bot to something stable for the best results. After it has been calibrated, I like to hold on to the bot while I place the wheels down until it finds a decent balance before letting go. Two quick side notes. You can lay it down to stop the wheels. And to turn it off, press the battery power button twice. If you find the balance bot always favors one way over the other, or you add some hardware that throws off the center of balance, you can manually adjust the init angle in the code to compensate. For those serious about getting a good calibration, use the IMU zero code to collect data from your sensor for an offset value that you can add to the stock codes for some fantastic results. It's in the Crunch Labs IDE, but it isn't found in the drop down menu. You need to select it from the side options. The other key thing before uploading the code is to take the tires off and set the bot standing up on the base. Once you upload the code, you will start to see an output in the serial monitor with the offset results. While we are waiting, we can copy this section of code from the IMU zero code and paste it into your stock code here for the bot to use the offset data. When the code is complete, it will display done. Update the last numbers from the serial monitor in the corresponding offset. Just replace your numbers with the output. And that's how it ran for more than 30 minutes with a few tries. Let me know your best time in the comments. And if this helped you out, be sure to subscribe for more hack pack tips and tutorials. The two most common errors I've seen with the balance butt are wiring the motors wrong and placing the microcontroller or motor driver incorrectly. If your balance spot spins or drives in the wrong direction counter to balancing, the motor wires are wrong. The correct setup is the two red wires are facing the inside toward each other. The biggest telltale sign of incorrect microcontroller placement is nothing seems to work right, but everything is plugged in correctly. Check out this video to learn more about the hacks that come with the balance pot.